In this video we're going to run through the burning station, rescue and item recovery mechanics and detail how you can participate in one of Elite's most atmospheric set pieces. If you enjoy this video hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications. That stuff really helps the channel. And if you'd like to further support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. As I've already mentioned the burning stations that occasionally crop up in the universe of Elite Dangerous are one of the games most atmospheric set pieces in a game that doesn't really have set pieces. What's more the barriers for entry for this particular piece of gameplay are very low indeed meaning just about anybody in the game can participate and if you're in the early part of the game in particular there's plenty of money to be made, lots of reputation with the game's superpowers to be had and what's more you'll also gather a ton of engineering materials whilst you're at it. It's also really good fun so it's a win all round. Stations can occasionally be set ablaze by Thargoid activity or by terrorist attacks. Whatever the cause the scenarios are exactly the same. Keep an eye on the Galnet in game newsfeed and you occasionally see stories detailing what stations have been attacked and why. Also if you look on the galaxy map in game the burning stations appear as large red icons over the target star system. There's two specific halves to the burning station scenarios, evacuations and debris recovery. For the evacuation portion you'll be tasked with taking on board refugees fleeing the burning station and ferrying them to a nearby rescue megaship. Just about any ship in the game can participate in the station rescues and all you'll really need to get cracking are as many economy class cabins as you can fit in the ship and lots of heat sinks. More on that in a moment. It's a good idea to have a rescue ship outfitted and sitting in a starport even when there are no stations on fire. That way when something does kick off you can summon it to a nearby station shipyard and then start your run. When you approach the burning station you'll need to be sure that you request docking permission. Despite them being on fire and everyone desperate to leave the stations they'll still fine you and shoot at you if you hang around inside without asking for permission. Yeah I know, harsh. Once you have your docking permission you're ready to head inside and this is where it gets interesting. You're entering a very hazardous environment. The fires are generating a huge amount of heat and will cause your ship to start overheating. The stations are also full of floating debris and there are constant explosions. Those explosions will damage you and your shields if you're close enough and they will nudge you off course as well so be ready to compensate for that. Remember I said bring heat sinks? Now is the time to start using them. The stations auto landing systems are offline so your docking computer will be of no use to you here. And just before you touch down on your designated landing pad it's a good idea to fire off a heatsink. That will keep your ship cool while the station takes over and takes your ship into the safety of the hangar away from the fires where heat management is no longer a problem. Once you're in there the interface will glitch because of the station's damage and there's a fair bit of noise but you can now relax and take your time. You're safe in the hangar. Head to the passenger mission section of the station services screen and you'll be faced with numerous civilians from various different factions eager to hose you with money and materials, cut short their vacations and get the hell out of Dodge because Dodge is exploding and all fiery. Remember you can filter the missions via the tab on the top right to show you where materials or reputation etc is offered as a reward. At the time of recording only the Imperials and Federation are available to earn reputation with so if you're looking to get ranked up there to unlock a ship be sure to pick a station with a suitable superpower in charge. Once you're loaded up hit launch and watch that temperature rise again. As soon as you're unlocked from the pad you can let go a heatsink again and start heading for the mail slot. Remember all the while keep an eye on your temperature and be mindful of debris and explosions. Once you're clear of the burning station then set a course for the nearby rescue vessel. They're really very close by. Drop in and drop off your passengers ready for another run at it. If you're of a mind to hang around in the station a while longer then pick up a few salvage missions from the rescue vessel, equip a ship with cargo space and collector limpets and heat sinks 
and head into the inferno again. Remember to ask for docking permission and then as soon as you're inside open your cargo scoop, let loose all of your collector limpets and let them work bringing in all the floating debris and escape pods in the station. While they work turn your ship around and face the mail slot ready to leave. Continue to monitor your heat and be mindful for explosions and when your limpets are done head back to the rescue vessel and hand in your missions. Once you're done for the day if you have any spare salvage in your hold check in with the search and rescue operative in the contact section and they'll buy everything left over off of you and definitely not sell the escape pods into slavery. Definitely. For more information on ongoing station rescues, ship builds and all things emergency then check in with the guys on the post disaster evacuation service discord. That's a whole community who specialise in just this one scenario. So there you go. I hope that's given you a small insight into what is undoubtedly one of Elite's best scenario opportunities. If you haven't tried this stuff before I urge you to jump in next time something is attacked you won't be disappointed. If you've never participated in the station rescues or didn't even know it was a thing then let us know in the comments below and if you're a regular with this kind of thing maybe share your experiences and ship builds for those new to it. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.